Cruz over Kyle Busch. One lap to go. Sponsored by Credit One Bank. That's the gap to Keselowski. success he does, Mike. And if you want to know why we talk about Kyle Busch a lot, yeah. one is because he's that good. Two is because he leads a bunch of laps and wins a lot of races. Yeah. I agree. Eric Jones third behind Brad Keselowski. Nice job by the two Michigan drivers. Keselowski the highest finishing forward in second. Jones third. Chase Elliott the first Chevrolet finishing fourth. Like I've said about Kyle Busch, Mike, there was a him and the rest of us. I got a trophy case. Jeff's got a trophy case. Kyle Busch has a trophy warehouse. <laughs> he just got a nice little bump in the bumper from former teammate Daniel Suarez. Responds with a wave. Larry, I don't want to say they made it look easy, but they certainly didn't give us a lot to talk about, did they? Well, and again, to your point, they were absolutely flawless on pit road with their four pit stops. Today's victory was fueled by Sunoco. Sunoco, fuel your best. A little too much wind coming down this front straightaway for Kyle Busch to do that reveal as he normally pops out in the smoke. Got his best career start at Pocono this weekend. Came from the outside pole. That led a race-leading 79 laps. Where he started might have been a little bit of a clue as to how, what kind of day he was going to have. Yeah, those Toyotas haven't been qualifying great this year, but you know when Kyle Busch qualifies up front, he might be in a little trouble. <laughs> All he needs is a big S on his chest. Take a bow, young man. Oh, get, let's get the flag first. <laughs> well, he came in as the favorite. He's going to leave here as the winner.